evening. Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight uh, for this evening's devotional. Um, it is good to, again, see everybody who's joined us live on Zoom, and it's it's great uh, to be able to, to share in this together whenever you're joining us online. So thank you for, for sharing. Tonight's um, devotional that I'd like to share uh, from Living the Message, Eugene Peterson's uh, devotional book, is a very short one. Um, but again, it's one of those that's um, very short, very sweet, very much to the point. Um, and it's simply titled Overflow. And he writes this, no life of faith can be lived privately. There must be overflow into the lives of others. And he quotes Galatians chapter six, verses three through four. Stoop down and reach out to those who are oppressed, share their burdens, and so complete Christ's law. If you think you're too good for that, you are badly deceived. You know, it, there you go. Um, you know, faith is not something that's just a matter of, of what we think about God or what we believe in God, as important as that is. Because if we think things or believe things that are uh, toxic or, or untrue or unworthy of God, it, it affects the way that we act and interact and see ourselves and others. Uh, but one of the things I think, you know, that Peterson is just lifting up in this is, you know, the sense that what God is doing in inviting us into God's story is in, in, a, in a broader sense of what salvation is really all about, um, is not just salvation from something unpleasant, um, but a salvation uh, into a life that is meant to be a part of what God is doing in this world. And I know, you know, for some, of course we know that. And for others, we might say, well, yeah, of course. But then making that connection into, okay, how is what I believe translating out into life? Um, you know, I know there have been times in the past where I've had conversations with folks and, um, and every once in a while, somebody will say, well, why don't you talk more about hell? And, you know, you're just kind of like from that, that sense of um, expecting the, the kind of fire and brimstone sermons and things like that. And, and it's not because I don't believe in the reality of, of hell, uh, of the existence of, of those kinds of eternal consequences that flow from uh, a rejection of God. Um, but really, I think that sometimes focusing too much on that uh, leads us to the wrong impression that primarily as God is concerned just with me alone, isolated. Um, and don't get me wrong, uh, God loves you and I individually. Um, but that love is, is not meant to keep us isolated from one another. The purpose of faith, the purpose of salvation is not merely uh, to rescue us from, uh, from destruction, which is Part of it, don't you know? Again, don't don't hear what I'm not saying, but it's so much bigger than that. Uh, as a friend of mine uh, in ministry, he was uh, part of the, or he designed and, and led and and developed the a coffee shop ministry that Gabriel and I were a part of. Um, my my friend uh, Tim was fond of saying, "It's not just about what we've been saved from; it's about what we've been what we are being saved into, uh, what God is is calling us to be a part of." And, and I'd like to share just a little bit um, more from Paul's letter to Ephesians in the second chapter, uh, beginning with verse four. But God, who is rich in mercy, out of the great love with which he loved us in Christ Jesus, even when we were dead through our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace, you've been saved and raised us up with him and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, so that in ages to come, he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. For by grace, you've been saved through faith. And this isn't your own doing, it's the gift of God, not the result of works so that no one may boast, for we are what he has made us, created in Christ Jesus, for good works, which God prepared beforehand to be our way of life. That this is what God has created us for. And did you hear how many times in that passage, our life is located in these, in these sort of preposition words, in Christ, with Christ, uh, that we are being called into a, a life 
of connection, a life that's only discovered as we are living it out in sync and in harmony with and in, you know, and just in that sense of being united with Christ. And so I'd invite us to think about that tonight and what that means uh, to live out our faith in connection with others, to see the kind of life that God is inviting us into, a life that, as Eugene Peterson says, is meant to overflow, uh, that, that what God is pouring into us, grace, mercy, redemption, uh, belonging, an invitation to a bigger story, is what we are meant to overflow or what's meant to overflow out of us and to touch the lives of those around us. Um, and, you know, invite us to see where is that happening? Uh, where is God inviting us uh, to open ourselves to him more so that that might increase, uh, so that our joy might increase as we uh, join in that um, time together? So wherever you are, wherever you are in your journey, whatever has been going on with you tonight, may God bless you and be with you. Uh, may God fill you with peace and wonder and joy at the salvation that we have been given um, by grace and invited to be a part of that blesses others. May God bless you on the journey tonight.